Let me just, I, I'm going to, I'm going to address an elephant in our room right now. We're not getting really good commenting engagement today. And I don't know why, you know, I mean, some shows we get and it's our comments are just blown up. So if you're watching this or you're on the podcast, Carl has made two comments and nobody else has commented today, which is unusual for us. Now, sometimes it's because Restream has a glitch and it doesn't actually stream it to all of our locations. Maybe it's just, it's the week, you know, we're coming to the end of the quarter and more people are focused on closing deals. There's lots of reasons, but it doesn't bother me because we don't do this just for the live show. This is going to go to the podcast. And there's some people that listen to our podcast every week when they're on a treadmill or they're on a rowing machine or they're out for a run or they're behind their steering wheel. They listen to the podcast. So even if we don't get great live engagement, we still have the podcast. We have the shorts. We have the transcripts from a show that we turn into a newsletter with more detail for people that want to consume it. We also have the link for future use that when somebody, and maybe you're listening to this and you go, man, that's what Brandon did to me. When somebody asks about, hey, how are ways that we could use a live show or podcast? I'm going to send them a link to this episode. Go, hey, we did an entire show on how to leverage live shows and podcasts for lead gen and demand creation. 